In all my years, I have never witnessed such an astonishingly fast car, exclaimed Lewis Hamilton when asked about the remarkable performance of the Red Bull team in Formula One. His words reflect a deep concern for the rest of the field as Red Bull surges ahead. Hamilton even drew parallels with the dominant Mercedes team of 2014, suggesting that a new era of complete and unparalleled dominance has emerged. But when we contemplate the incredible pace advantage, one can't help but wonder, how is this even possible? Before we explain you how, I challenge you to hit the subscribe button as fast as you can. In 2021, a new system of aerodynamic testing was introduced, which varied based on a team's previous year's performance. The reigning constructor champions were given only 70% of the available wind tunnel time, while the lower-ranked teams received progressively more hours. The aim was to level the playing field over time, as the top teams had less time for crucial aerodynamic testing, which is vital for gaining performance advantages. Additionally, Red Bull faced penalties in 2021 for exceeding the cost cap, resulting in a $7 million fine and a 10% reduction in their allocated wind tunnel time. The combination of these two factors is truly perplexing when we consider Red Bull's current dominance. They operate with 15% less wind tunnel time than Ferrari and 20% less than Mercedes, yet they effortlessly surpass both teams, setting staggering lap times. Unlike Lewis Hamilton's dominance in 2014, which was partly attributed to having the most advanced engine, Red Bull's advantage in 2023 is primarily derived from their aerodynamics. This is truly astounding given the reduced testing time in that area. Naturally, these circumstances raise several questions. How is Red Bull able to maintain a significant lead over Ferrari and Mercedes, even after their reduction in wind tunnel time? Are they exploiting loopholes or finding creative interpretations of the aerodynamic testing restrictions? Or have Ferrari and Mercedes simply failed to make substantial advancements in their cars despite having more time in the wind tunnel? It is widely recognized that Red Bull's car designer, Adrian Newey, is one of the greatest in history. Rumors suggest that Red Bull has a lightweight chassis this year, indicating that Newey may have shifted focus to other areas of the car to compensate for the reduction in wind tunnel time. Furthermore, the full impact of Red Bull's reduced development time may not have fully manifested yet. This car was developed midway through the previous season, so the consequences of the punishment may become more apparent later in the year. At least, that's what the rest of the field hopes for. As for Ferrari and Mercedes, their struggles stem from different circumstances. A change in Ferrari's team principle after 2022 resulted in a period of disconnect that hindered their development progress for 2023. Efficiency suffered, and their attempts to reduce drag and match Red Bull's straight line speed seem to have compromised their downforce. As for Mercedes, they openly admit that their entire concept has inherent issues. Aston Martin, led by former Red Bull head of aerodynamics Dan Fallows, is demonstrating the effectiveness of the Mercedes engine in a car similar to Red Bull's style. It appears that this era of Red Bull's dominance is a combination of their remarkable performance and the failures of their main competitors. Furthermore, there is a general consensus among rival teams that Red Bull intentionally holds back, easing off the gas when they establish a comfortable lead during a race. This further magnifies their dominance. In fact, this season could potentially go down as the most dominant in F1 history with Red Bull poised to win every race. The question lingers, how did Red Bull manage to surge so far ahead of the competition? We invite you to share your thoughts in the comment section. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more captivating Formula One content here at DRS.